Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here on the blue carpet for the 33rd Annual Film Independent Spirit Awards. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Here's what I'd love to know. Um, we go back and look at 1992, and here we are in 2018. A lot of the same themes are still resonating. Yeah. What do you think we've learned and are doing better, and what do we need to continue to do better? I do see, um, well, what's amazing now is uh, the, level, the leveling of uh, information with the Internet. So uh, what's done better is that uh, you have a platform to to express yourself and tell you talk about your issues and I do feel uh, it doesn't seem like it but I do feel that more people are open uh, than they were before um, and more people are willing to speak out than before you know I'm a kid of the 80s and and in the 80s you know uh, if someone were to start calling me racial slurs I don't know if anyone would really stick up for me I'd like to think that more people would now um, and what can be done better um, I think really trying to have the empathy and, and, and uh, listening. I don't think people listen enough. I think so many people are on their soapboxes, you know, screaming out their message, which is important. Everybody needs to constantly uh, get their message across, otherwise people won't listen. But, at the end, uh, but you shouldn't only be trying to talk to the people who are going to listen to you. So I feel like if people can uh, have an open conversation and more of an open mind, then maybe there can be some meeting in the middle. Are you inspired by all of the younger generation? It seems like under 18 right now is the one that understands it and gets it. Absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, isn't that what we're doing this for, is for the youth? And, uh, you know, just seeing what's been happening with, with the youth uh, in Florida, that's just, that's been incredible how they've really been able to move the needle. And they're just in high school and everybody likes to discount uh, the youth and, and say they don't know what they're talking about. But that's such a great example of how, you know, those voices, it doesn't matter who you are, can be really uh, influential and, and, and make a difference. And for you, what's next on your plate? Because you've had such success with this current film. Where do you see yourself going next? Well, I want to continue to make uh, films that give a platform to people who don't have one. Uh, I have a film with, with Macro um, that's also another social issue type of film. And, um, you know, and I really want to find other partners like Macro who uh, have the same vision as I do. Um, so I'm really excited to be working with them and, and um, yeah, I want to continue to make films that have entertainment uh, value but also can sneak in the medicine. I love that. We're looking forward to more, Justin. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite independent film of 2017 was.